just rolling on to the start of section six of the uh, European Divide bike packing trail. It's only about 11.30 in the morning. I had a really nice easy run at the end of section five. Uh, and I just stopped for a quick break and am uh, setting off on the start of section six. Not sure how far I'm going to go today. I might just go into uh, Albacete, next town, and uh, stop and uh, I don't know, maybe possibly do the uh, video summary for section five or uh, maybe just take it a bit easy. I'm feeling pretty good today, but I don't want to press it today. I want to make sure that I feel all right and feel good tomorrow <coughs> it's been a beautiful day it's not that hot uh, there is a threat of rain this afternoon we'll see what happens with that but uh, i hope it won't be too bad and hopefully this next section into town is uh, going to be just as flat and as easy as the section that i've just finished leaving Albacete on the start of the second day of section six of the European Divide bike packing trail. I had a rest day yesterday uh, mainly because I wanted to get the uh, video of stage five done and I really needed to do some washing so it was a nice combination. I had a reasonably easy ride into Albacete uh, nice and flat if anything possibly a bit boring uh, starting out today it's a bit cold there was a bit of rain yesterday so it was a good day to have a rest day um, and it is a little bit cold today I've had some reports from uh, other cyclists saying there's been snow up in the mountains <laughs> So I'm lucky I uh, passed through when I did and I've missed out on the snow so far at least. April has definitely been a lot colder here in Spain than anyone has been expecting. Uh, both cold and wet basically. Going to take it pretty easy today. I think it's going to be pretty flat for most of the flat or downhill or reasonably easy riding for what I'm going to do today probably only do 50 or 60 kilometers uh, and now before we start a little bit of climbing uh, I'm not sure I haven't really looked at the map but it looks like I'm going to be following a canal and so it should be pretty flat and easy riding and uh, hopefully uh, it'll be an enjoyable day The rest of the day was pretty easy riding with reasonably flat terrain and I just motored along and basically tried to enjoy myself as much as possible. Just the terrain varied between some pretty good cycle tracks, there was also a fair bit of uh, double track stuff where uh, they were basically tractor roads, but it was reasonably easy going even though it was a bit muddy sometimes. So far, all my equipment's worked really well. The bike just rolls along and it's sort of taken all the punishment I can dish out to it. I mean, I've got probably a, a little bit too much gear for a proper bike padding, packing setup. It's a, more of a combination of a bike packing and a bike touring setup that I'm using at the moment. And, um, and I'm way a bit myself, so uh, there is a bit of strain on the bike, but it, so far everything, tires and, and all the uh, running gear and everything are working really, really well, and I'm really, really happy with the bike. Where the work gets done.
most of the track so far have been pretty flat, but there were a couple of downhill runs into river valleys, and uh, in one of them there was a couple of switchbacks down to a river valley with a nice bridge spanning the bridge, and a climb up the other side, which was a little bit tougher naturally, but after the climb, there was a really, really long downhill gravel section, and it was possible to just let give the bike its head and just roll on and give it a few pedal strokes every now and again and just enjoy the ride. If you listen carefully, you can hear my audio book going in the background. Uh, for the last couple of days, I've been listening to a few different audio books, and uh, I just put the iPhone on uh, loud and listen to it, and it works really well because most of the time there's no other people around to disturb. Just started uh, day three on section six. <coughs> Nice easy riding through uh, vineyards and olive groves along uh, nice gravel and clay roads that today hopefully will be a little bit drier than they were yesterday. Yesterday was a bit tough. It was uh, it was nice easy riding. I wouldn't say it was tough, but there were several sections that were a bit wet from the rain the day before, and. Uh, the mud is pretty thick and sticky and really clogs up everything and I have to stop every now and again to clean it out. Uh, mud guards wouldn't work <laughs> along this section when it's wet, that's for sure. Uh, I'm glad Betty is basically a, a mountain bike uh, with plenty of clearance, even with the 2.2 tyres that are mounted onto it at the moment. So it works out quite well, but even with this setup, I need to stop and clean it every now and again. It's been a little bit cool, uh, it's a bit cloudy and there is a threat of rain today so I'll just keep going and see what happens but it's, it's nice riding, beautiful countryside and uh, yesterday I passed through towns every now and again pretty often actually, I'm not sure about the route today, it'll be a little bit more uh, away from the towns I think uh, but I'm not sure, I think I've got about 80 kilometers left on the Section 6, I'm um, not sure if I'm going to do it all today or if I'm going to just uh, take it easy and take it as it comes, but it's going to be a nice day of riding. The trail continued on and for a while it followed one of the many Caminos that wind their way through Spain. You basically can't travel in Spain without seeing a lot of Caminos all over the place. There was some nice riding along both gravel roads and some tarmac as well. And I rode on and probably did about 50 or 60 kilometers before I decided to stop. And I actually stayed and had one more rest day just to stay out of the rain because uh, it started raining in the afternoon and the next day was going to be even more rain. So I decided to try to stay dry and enjoy myself rather than force myself to continue. After the rest day, I was glad to see blue skies, even if though it was a bit cold, and I continued on my way. The only problem was, 
because of all the rain there was a lot of peanut butter mud everywhere and the bike i had to stop and clean the bike a few times not only that my new shoes are no longer so pristine Then followed a really incredible single track downhill ride down into Casabayas. It was pretty rough, some of the sections were pretty tough and actually as I started uh, along this section I was stopped by a man who was wondering where I was going and I told him I was heading down to Casabayas and he shook his head and he said you can't go down there by bike and I said well I, I've got a trail here that says I, this is the way I should go. Um, and he shook his head and said, muy difficile, not possible. But uh, I just shrugged and said, well, I'll just see how it goes. And it was, okay, it was a pretty rough ride down and I had to be a little bit careful sometimes, but it wasn't any rougher than the track down to Silas and uh, Betty managed it quite well and it was a really, really nice ride. I'm showing it here sped up because I just didn't want to cut any of it out. I eventually made it down to Casabayas and I stopped for a long lunch. Uh, it was a nice finish to this section and the, both the downhill and the lunch were really excellent. And after a short rest, I was ready to set off on the next section.